Caleb Lohner is referred to as the surfer dude on the west coast in high school basketball. But where did this guy come from? And today, I'm just here to explain to y'all his story. So what's good y'all? It's Matt LBG. The LBG stands for Let's Be Great. And we are back with another story video. If you are new to my channel, hit that subscribe button, leave a like for more, and without further ado, let's get into the video, man. Caleb Lohner is a rising senior that goes to high school in Mount Pleasant, Utah. And oh yeah, he is considered one of the top prep basketball players in the whole country. When I was doing research for this video, I saw a couple rankings that had this guy listed as a three-star recruit, but I also saw some rankings that had this guy listed as a four-star recruit. So we're gonna say he's a four-star recruit for this video. Even though this guy definitely looks like he's lived on the beach and west coast his whole life, He's actually not from there. Caleb grew up in a small city called Flower Mound, which is in Texas. And not only is he known as the surfer dude, he's also often nicknamed Thor because of his physique and long hair. I'm not gonna lie, this guy is a tank. He is built for basketball. Or maybe not even basketball, this guy's probably built for even football. Loner is 6'9 and has a 40 inch vertical. That's insane. And there's also been videos about this guy saying he has the best shooting form in all of high school basketball. So I think it's fair to say that this guy has unlimited potential. He is literally a matchup nightmare for anyone guarding him. Not only is he 6'9", he has a 6'10 wingspan and weighs 230 pounds. So like I said, this guy's built. So with all this being said, you can probably assume that this guy has a lot of scholarship offers. And yes, I'm just here to confirm that is true. He was really heavily recruited by BYU and they made it known that he was their top target. But however, he didn't even narrow his options down. He didn't post his final schools on social media or anything. He came out of nowhere and surprised everyone with his commitment to Utah. And honestly, it was a huge surprise because BYU really thought they were going to get this guy. Oh yeah, a little side note to throw in there. Kansas, Michigan State, Texas, and Stanford were also recruiting this guy very heavily. Apparently, BYU really lost this guy when the assistant coach left the program. Now, I did a lot of digging and I really couldn't find the exact reason, you know, why that had so much effect, but... That was one of the main reasons. And most people thought he was gonna commit or even sign with BYU because his father, that's where he played. But I guess Caleb had other ideas. And the timing of Caleb's decision is great for Utah because they've lost six players to the transfer portal since November. And currently Utah has seven current freshmen on scholarship, so this team is really young. And I think he decided, you know, to go to Utah because he knows he will play right away. I mean, this guy just straight up looks like a surfer dude. It's only right that he goes out to the West Coast and plays, even if he is from Dallas, Texas. And also currently right now, Loner is a senior in high school and he's having a great year so far. He's only played nine games so far in his senior season, but he's doing excellent, averaging over 16 points per game. He's also pitching in five rebounds per game, one assist and one steal. So overall, he's having a pretty good start to his senior season. And ironically enough, he loves the ocean. He enjoys surfing and his favorite place in the world is San Clemente, California. I hope I said that right. If not, do not kill me in the comments. And growing up in Dallas, Texas, him and his family had a boat and they would go wakeboarding, surfing, and tubing. So this guy loves the water. And Caleb even goes on to say that the lake always brings the coolest memories. This is one guy that I am very, and I mean very excited to just keep up with and follow him throughout his career. And like I said earlier, I think this guy has unlimited potential and he hasn't even tapped into it yet. Like always though, only time will tell. But with all this being said, that's about going to wrap up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys learned something. If you are new to my channel, what are you doing? Hit that subscribe button and leave a like for more. One, four, three. Let's be great. I'm out, y'all. Peace.